the weather has really changed. It's become very grey and overcast and chilly and super windy. So the gardening jobs that I was going to do today, which was planting out my kale, cavolo nero, etc. I'm not going to do today because um, it's just really windy and horrible out there. So I'm just going to do some, whoops, forgot to record my face. I'm going to do some indoor gardening jobs. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Skip on if you're not interested, but I'll be interested this time next year as to what I was doing and when. I'm going to take some cuttings from this dahlia that's doing supremely well. I just need to remind myself how to do that. I think you just... You work your way down and you slice a good amount of this off below the surface and try to get some of the tuber and then you just plunge it into a bit of soil and I think that is that but I will check. I've got this house plant, um, a pathos, that I've literally taken a couple of cuttings from it, plunged it into water and had it as an ornament in my bathroom. And it's rooted now, so I'm going to pop that up properly. Prick out the rest of these little pansies. Pop them in here. I'm going to put these tomatoes in the ground. I'm going to put the ones that I can put in the ground indoors in the ground. I'm going to make some space in and amongst my lettuce, which has come on a right treat look. Then I'm going to pot on these ones in these toilet rolls. I have not enjoyed planting in toilet rolls. They just don't seem quite so successful. I mean, look at those. They're really small and weedy compared to these in these plastic pots. And actually, these are really a bit pathetic compared to the ones that are in these terracotta pots that my neighbour grew. Now, whether she started them off earlier or whether it's because terracotta stays warm I don't know, but I think that slowly but surely I'll probably invest in some, in some nice terracotta pots that I can use forever. I've planted some little, whatever they're called, I've forgotten, succulent chicks. Yeah, I'm just going to do some garden stuff. Got my sunflowers. I'll get those out next week when the weather cheers up. They were from Rachel. I need to do something with these leeks. And I have got sweet peas. After all that worry about not having any sweet peas, I've got plenty. So that's magic. Where are they? Can't you see them? No. Come and look here. <gasps> They're going to turn into frogs. Can you see them? What if I do this, Bill? Look. Can would you see it, them? Would it turn into frogs? Yeah, can you see them? <laughs> Yay, we've got It's not good. Pardon, Bill? Pet frogs. Yeah. <sighs> I've been outside and it is so, so cold and so windy. Ooh. I'm cooking a roast and I thought that I would show you how I do my roast potatoes because Ali, Little Drops of Wonderful, one of my chums, showed us how she does her roast potatoes. Now let me tell you, her way is much healthier than my way. But I've never tasted Ali's roast potatoes so I can't tell you what I think of them. <laughs> But I can tell you what I think of my own. I think they're lovely. So I'm going to show you how I do them. You get a good roasting potato. So maybe a King Edward or a Maris Piper. You peel them and you cut them. I like them. I like to have really big surface area. So I like, I don't cut them up too small because I like big and fluffy inside and a decent crispy surface area. Then I get goose fat or ghee. This time it's ghee. 
and um, I have that heating up in the pan. And then I boil the potatoes until they start roughing up all the edges. So I actually boil them for probably, they're probably boiling about five minutes. And then ordinarily I will sprinkle some polenta on them before shoving them into the hot fat. So drain them, rough them up, sprinkle some polenta on and then shove it in the hot fat. But I've run out of polenta, so I've not done that. And then I um, roast them. After 20 minutes, I flick them over and I roast them again, flick them over and then I roast them. Probably takes about an hour. We, we've, it depends how many you're doing. I um, always overcook roast potatoes. We have them cold um, the next day or warmed up the next day. Delicious. So there we go. That's my roast potatoes. Look at that. So incredibly unhealthy. Do you want to go out, Marco? You'll get blown away. It's so windy. Where's she gone? Oh, she's out. Yeah, so not um, cholesterol friendly at all. But once a week, if you have leftovers twice a week, <laughs> delicious.